You don't know any others? Well, there is one. But you're armed. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever. Ah, oh, I love that song. Dreadful sorry, Clementine. Light she was and like a fairy. And her shoes were number nine. Herring boxes without topses. Sandals were for Clementine. <laughs> what do you think, AJ? Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B-plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. B-minus, then. Now, Clem here. That was a solid A. A-plus, even. Don't be jealous, Vi. You did a good job out there, too, Lewis. You're too kind. And accurate. You're falling right into his trap, you know. Trap, schmap. She's just speaking the gods honest. So am I. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happens. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Never. Not even once? Never. You see a ribbon on a tree? Traps are nearby. So watch where you step. Please. I think I can handle myself. I'm basically a ninja. Skilled in the craft of martial arts. Oh, you too? I thought I was the only one. Me too. Oh my god. We got work to do. Not all of us have the privilege of being Marlin's lapdog. Oh, ouch. Someone's a little jealous. In my defense, I totally get things done. I just prefer to think of survival as more of a day-to-day -day task. So, you know, don't sweat the technique. You do what you do to survive. That's all that matters. I knew you'd understand. Whatever, man. You act like you're the only one with a strategy. You play the long game. You gotta have plans B, C, and D. And what if you don't make it that far? Sh shut up a second. He's like a walker pinata. Cut it down, fix the snare, and let's go. I will, I will. Eventually. If you want food for the kid, I could use a hand. Or you can mess around with this idiot and starve. It's up to you. Oh, you can starve. So dramatic. Want to take a swing? It won't bite. Well, that guy would, but the bat won't. You know what I mean? You get it? Uh, all right, I'll take one swing. Now that's what I'm talking about. Sorry about a sim. He's not always so lame. But lucky for you, this is Team Fun. Team Fun? That's right, Team Fun. And your membership has just been accepted. Now, for our first order of business, a little batting practice. <laughs> Woo! 
If the Olympics were still a thing, you'd get a silver, no question. A silver, huh? Well, I mean, that could have been a lucky shot. <laughs> All right! Now you just went and earned yourself a gold. Damn. All right, you gotta make this one count. Come on, Clem. Home run! All right, all right, show's over. See, don't you feel a little better now that you blew off some steam? You need to get that energy out every now and again. Have some fun. Yeah, I can't wait for our next round of batting practice. Oh, yeah? Bring it on, Clem. I'm always down for a little adventure. Is that so? Life's too short not to be. A sim loves giving me crap about having a good time. Always telling me I'm not thinking long term. We need to guarantee our future. All that horse shit. But I tell him right back. There's only one guarantee. This moment. That's the only thing you got. Only thing any of us got. Might as well enjoy it. I'll untie our friend here and reset the snare if you go check on a sim. But you got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Lewis. I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. I think you mean charming and theatrical. Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. Brody told me Marlon was gonna give me and AJ up to Raiders in exchange for safety. The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie. Raiders? Oh my god. Oh, shut the fuck up, Clementine. Let her talk. Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlon killed her. Oh, come the fuck on! They only met up with these Raiders because Clem insisted they go out there! Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me, your friend? She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders are just gonna come along and take it? Lewis, don't let him do this! Oh no, I am not involved. What? I like you, Clem, but I... Not me. I'm sorry. You're, uh... On your own. I'm sorry. You let him shoot me. Really? Just so you don't have to get involved! I thought you were more than that. Shit. Marlin, come on, man. Drop the gun. Lewis! She killed Brody! We can't let her walk away. Clem, I... I, I gotta trust Marlin. I just... I gotta. I always have. Brody trusted him. And now she's dead. And he killed her! Take that back! Come on, dude, just drop the gun. This is how adults do things, not us. Stand down, Mark. Be reasonable. Just get some sleep, okay? Lewis? I really missed you. Missed you, too. Good night. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Sim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, 
Clem. Anyone here you like like? Seriously? Like like? <sighs> yeah. I've definitely got feelings for someone. Oh, oh who is it? <laughs> nope, not telling. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I am on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I want to try, but I need a second person. I thought I could tickle the ivories one last time before all hell breaks loose. That's a good idea. Haven't heard music in a while. Many people would say you're not about to hear it now. So, how do you feel about our imminent deaths? We won't necessarily die, of course. We could also be kidnapped, injured, maimed, maybe eaten. The possibilities are endless. I actually feel... Pretty good about it. The fight, not our deaths, because we're not gonna die. You're so sure. You have to be, right? So, what's this project you needed me for? Sounds awful, right? All we need to do is tune it. That's why I need you. When I get the signal, play the A key. Uh, yeah, which one's the A key? You know, the A key. Next to the B key. After the G key. How'd that happen? Car door. Slammed on it. Well, you can play just as well with nine and a half. That definitely helped. Now press the pedals while I make some more adjustments. Great! That part's golden. Quick, now blow on the strings. I know, sounds weird, but blow on them. Cooling the temperature helps set them in harmony. Okay, great. That did nothing, because that's not at all part of how you tune a piano. <laughs> but it was funny! It could have done something, on like a molecular level. Or maybe it's good luck to blow on strings. <laughs> you are super cute. Cute? Wow, uh, that's, uh, yay! <laughs> Glad to be of service. What are you playing? And don't say a piano. A song that I wrote. Really? What's it called? I don't know yet. There. First time played. You should mark the occasion. You done tattooing that piano? I think you've got a future in Whitlin. I like saying Whitlin. Oh, that's a, that, that's a potato? It's a heart, yep, I see, it's a heart. That's super cool, really cool. So, hey, I'm gonna dig myself into a deep hole from which I'll never emerge. Cool? Cool. 
Huh. Time to get serious. Serious? Wow. You feeling okay? Not really, nope. Mm -mm. Thanks for being here. Listening. Blowing on the strings. Coming here to help me with my project, even after everything I put you through. And everything I had to work through for myself. Everyone hears the jokes, the piano, and after that, they stop listening. You didn't. So, um, I like you a lot. Like, like you. As more than a friend. <laughs> no jokes? Nothing? When you said you had feelings for someone during the game, I was hoping it was me. And it is. Holy shit, it's me! Figured out what to call the song. Clementine, obviously. You know, because I like fruit. And I like you even more, so... There. Gotta admit, of all the things I saw coming, you having a crush on me was not it. <laughs> Clem, you out here? I have to go. I've got lookout duty. Well, you wouldn't want to miss that. Sounds like way too much fun. Raiders? Yeah, they're here. Shit. Well, in case it all goes to hell and I don't see you again during the fight, just know, I have no idea what that D stands for on your hat. Don't tell me. I prefer it to remain a mystery. But I'm gonna pretend like it stands for don't die. So just, um, listen to your hat, okay? God, Asim, Omar, they're just gone. And Violet, I never thought someone would get her. We're going after them. How? We still don't know where they are or how many. Well, we've got someone who does. Talk to Abel. See if you can't find out where Lily took Vi, Omar, and Asim. I wanted to hurt him, you know, to make him talk, but... I just couldn't. Maybe you'll get more out of him than I did. What's up with AJ? Little guy ran out of here like he was on fire. He just... Needs some space. I was wondering... Well, I can't help but thinking... <sighs> you shot that raider who grabbed me, but... You saw them take Violet, too. Which means... You could have saved Violet and not me. Why? Why would you pick me? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have picked me. Hell, I don't know anyone who would have picked me. I couldn't let them take you. You're too important to me. I know I'm always teasing her, trying to get her to do that one eye roll she does. You know the one. Where it's like, you're such a dumbass, she has to do a full body eye roll. I do it because when I actually do manage to make her laugh, it's worth it. If I needed her, she'd be there. Meet Cleaver in hand, ready to chop someone in half if it meant protecting me. Hey, we're going to get them back, Louis. Yeah. Damn right we will. Actually, um, that's... <laughs> that's not the only reason I dropped by. Ruby's whole party idea kind of made me realize something. What are you doing? Well, 
I figured since we might die tomorrow and never get to go on a real date, I thought we could. Damn it. Have one now. I promise I'll keep it short so we can finish getting things ready for tomorrow. <laughs> but I mean, nothing's wrong with short and sweet, right? Let's do it. I never thought I'd get to go on a date, ever. Really? Never? Have you met you? End of the world or not, someone would have at least tried to sweep you off your feet. <laughs> all right, all right. What? It's true. What do you know about dating, anyway? I'll have you know, I found some magazines in the headmaster's office that had some very interesting things to say about the dating world. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, like, it said you can tell a lot about someone based on what they look for in a partner. You know, brains, brawn, dashing good looks, great sense of humor, that sort of thing. <laughs> sure, I guess. What, uh, what would you say your thing is? That you look for in a guy? If you had to pick. Hmm, I think I prefer a good sense of humor. All right, I see you. You got me this time. <sighs> if only I knew someone with one of those. I think that deserves a toast. A toast? Don't those usually come at the end? Hey, I warned you I'd make this quick. So, what do you say? To our last night alive. To our last night alive. Now that's the spirit. Though, I have to admit I didn't expect it to be so disheartening to hear you say it. <sighs> so, I'll see you over there? Hey, Clem! <laughs> wow, where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and that was pretty gross, but look, it works. <laughs> I should start heading back to the admin building. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's not great. I was hoping you'd tell me. So, my family was stupid rich. Parents gave me everything I wanted when I wanted it. Except for one thing. Singing lessons. God, I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson, but I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought, I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? So, I broke into my dad's credit card accounts and made all these purchases in his name. Did this for over a year. This is how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. But I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. When their divorce was final, I told them the truth. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't get to be both. You know, those two would have been happily married forever, but then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead.
I came here the week after. I can see by your face you regret it. They said we were bad people, Clem. They weren't wrong. Still, none of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game person. Don't beat yourself up. You said it yourself. Clem needs to know who she's leading into battle. It's really happening, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Other people's lives are depending on us. Depending on me. You're depending on me to... What if something happens to you, Clem? What if... What if I can't? I don't know. I can't carry that the rest of my life. I wouldn't have asked you to come with me if I didn't believe in you. Seriously, Louis. I mean it. Just... Believe me until you believe yourself, okay? All right. Though I don't know if that's as easy as you think it is. <sighs> okay, I'll try. But what if I just get us caught too? All it would take is one little screw up, and I'd screw up all the time. Uh, all right, come on, Lewis. Get it together. I need you to slap me. Help pull me out of this. Right here. I can't tell if I feel more focused or less. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You'll learn when you're older. Go look in another direction. It's ready. Oh. Oh. Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one or the dead one? You, you brainwashed her. You people are fucking sick. Y'all better back away from the door. Lewis, calm down. Just do what they say. Fuck no. Look what they did to many. Yeah, I'd rather die than become that. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Lewis, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo. You better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck! Easy. Stay still. No, 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 please, Clem. Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Enough. He bit me. I said that's enough. You were there. <laughs> Fuck you. <coughs> what the hell are you doing? <coughs> Oh, 
Wait, that's not what I... Dorian, no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have to go. No! We planted a bomb on the boat. Fuck you, there's a bomb. Mitch is dead. You just, just fucking go. We have to get the hell out of here now. Go. I need to find AJ. I, I can't. Uh... I'll be fine. Better see you on land. You will. Yeah, yeah, I did. You have no idea how happy I am to see you right now. I think I have some idea. Get the fuck off of me! Everyone run for the cart. I'll stay back and cover you. I'll be right behind you. The second I see an opening, I'll make a break for it. Clementine, the stuff I said on the boat in the cell, I... will worry about that later. Right behind me? Yep, just like the ninja I am. The ninjas we are. Be careful. AJ, go with them. No, I'm staying with you. It's okay. Now that we're out of danger and going back home, it just made me think of it. I like a sim. If Marlin was still in charge, we'd be taken away to wherever, or dead. Instead, we fought back, because you showed us how. We weren't safe with Marlin, even in his safe zone. We were just hiding. Huh? You're not dead. That's good. Did everyone else escape? Damn right. They took that cart and hauled ass back to the school. But you came to look for us. Thought I lost you. Only for a minute. Longest damn minute of my life. It's over, Clem. The Raiders are gone, and we got everyone out alive. Ruby said Violet's eyes aren't infected, so that's good, too. They'll all be waiting for us back home. Any idea which way that is? I haven't been out here in a while, but I think there's a bridge. That way. It's the fastest way back. Let's go. I killed that woman, back on the boat.
Was that your first? Yeah. My first. It feels... like bile, but not quite, you know? Or like a scream that doesn't know if it should or not. You have a tendency to beat yourself up, Louis. But don't do it now, because you did great back there. I don't know if great is the right word, but... having a home means defending it. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I really thought we were gonna die on that boat. The dumbest shit always goes through my head when that happens. My old pet turtle Jeff, my grandma's phone number, the word that lost me the fourth grade spelling bee, recommend, stupid shit. Anything new this time? Before my parents divorced, they were building a house. And I begged my dad to put in a skylight, begged. Please, if you love me, you'll do it. That shit definitely didn't work. So we made a deal. I got straight A's, he'd put in a skylight. And you remembered the skylight just now? They never got to build the house. I don't even know what color it was gonna be. I should have asked. Sure should have. Maybe it was gonna be pink. Pink? What? Too girly for you? Did I say that? I did not say that. I'd love to live in a pink house. Okay. I'm starting to visualize the place. How many floors? Even number? Odd. How many? Um... 914. That's outrageous. Yeah. I love it. I like what I'm seeing. I could definitely live there. Give me a last flourish, though. One thing to really bring it all together. Come on. The coup de gras. The insert other French phrase here. What's it gonna be? A treehouse. Duh. Hell yeah, fucking treehouse! We get back to the school, we are building that house. You really think we can? Maybe not all 900 floors. And 14. And 14. But, I really hope we can. Can I help? Of course you can. You're in charge of painting. Come on. We got a home to build. Okay, just take your time and keep moving forward. It's far. Really far. I think we can jump it. 
Yeah, I think we can. We just gotta be careful not to land too hard. treehouse if I didn't. My treehouse? I did it for you. Ten's dead. He's dead. Do you realize that? Look! He's... He's gone. Because of you. I know how you're feeling, but now is not the time. We'll talk about this later, when we're There's safe. There's nothing to talk about. I didn't want to shoot him. He was my first real friend. But he was messing up again, just like when he got Mitch killed. So I had to decide. Clem said I could, so I did. Ten. We gotta move. The monsters are gonna trap us. I know. Uh, I'll climb over first. Then help you climb down the other side. Come on, almost there. Lewis! Fuck! Oh, oh, come on! Clem, look out! Damn it, there are too many! Oh, we'll find another way. What about you? You're trapped! We'll make it! Go! That's where Sim saw them. He was ranging out far past the traps just here. I want you to go. <laughs> You're the boss. We need to know who they are. Maybe even see if they're willing to trade. Just keep your distance until you can make a call. Who who are? A group of survivors out beyond the old safe zone. Some kind of caravan. Are they bad people? You want to come with me in the morning and find out? I could definitely use the backup. No arguments there. Hey. Well, Lewis, huh? Hmm, sounds kind of dangerous for... <laughs> well... That sounds like another vote for you coming along and watching my back. It'd make me feel a lot better if you went. <sighs> Someone has to watch him. I am literally right here, dude. This is the part where you tell me you'll be really, really careful. <laughs> 